Okay, why am I voting for Adrian Wiley for Florida governor? Well, after watching the two debates between Rick Scott and Charlie Crist, it's obvious. He's the only adult in this race. But that's not the reason why I'm voting for him. I'm voting for him because he's going to stand up for my personal freedom and my economic freedom. He's going to keep the government out of my bedroom and out of my wallet. But the most important reason why I'm voting for him is he wants to end cronyism in Florida. If you don't know what cronyism is, let me explain it to you. Rick Scott and Charlie Crist do not have a single free thought in their brains. They only regurgitate the information that their gang tells them. And who are the gangs? That would be the Democrat and Republican parties. And who the gangs take orders from? They take orders from corporations, lobbyists, and special interest groups. Now, with Adrian rising in the polls, they're going to use their usual scare tactics on you. They're going to tell you that voting for Adrian Wiley would be like throwing your vote away. Imagine being an American in the 1840s, and you told somebody, you know, I like that Republican Party platform of anti-slavery. And they came up to you and said, yeah, me too, but we should vote for the Whig Party because they could beat the Democrats. If you think that way, shame on you. Another tactic that they use is they're going to tell you that voting for Adrian Wiley would be like voting for Charlie Crisp or voting for Rick Scott. Let me show you something. This is a Florida sample ballot. See that? That is a vote for Adrian Wiley. That is not a vote for the other two. So that's a lie. And the third thing they're going to tell you is that a third-party candidate can't win. Well, if everybody in the state of Florida did what I did on my sample ballot, Adrian Wiley will be our governor. Now, I got a special message to my conservative and liberal friends. If you're a conservative and you're going to vote for Rick Scott just because he has an R next to his name, I got some news for you. He exploded the state budget in Florida. That doesn't sound very conservative now, does it? And if you're a conservative, you believe in small government. Hell, he didn't reform Medicare. He robbed it. And if you're a liberal and you're going to vote for Charlie Chris just because of that D next to his name, let me explain something to you. You think he's some kind of champion for medical marijuana? That guy passed some of the toughest marijuana laws in the nation when he was governor. Okay, you can lose your license in the state of Florida for two years if you're just walking down the street and you get caught with marijuana on you. And you think he's a champion for gay rights and gay marriage? Are you freaking kidding me? This this guy passed some of the most anti-gay legislation when he was governor. And here's the kicker. He's gay. And I'm not slandering the man. If you don't believe me, check out the HBO documentary called Outrage. It chronicles gay politicians that are in the closet and pass anti-gay legislation. Charlie Crist was one of the stars of that movie. So if you want to go in the voters booth and mark your little D, mark your little R, go ahead. Be my guest. Mark your DNR because that's what you are. Brain dead. I'm out.